What's up, Explorers? Welcome back to Season 2 of the Explorers of the Unexplained. I'm Tyler Snyder, lead investigator of the Explorers. Got my camera operator and assistant, Jordan Snyder, with me. Uh, Cassie Morrison, the field researcher, she will be giving you a brief history on this place. You'll watch a clip after this, and you'll see what's going on here. We got a new investigator with us, Bluey to the team. Hi, what's up, Bluey? Excited to be here. Can't yep. wait. So let's welcome her to the team, guys, and... We are in Newcastle, Pennsylvania at Hillview Manor. Beautiful place, guys, lots of activity, and we are on a massive collaboration. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna meet the other collabs and we'll get going, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hey guys, Cassie here, field researcher. So Hillview was also known as the poor house. It housed mentally ill people, uh, people that was in need of food and shelter, and also elderly people. Um, it was ran by Perry and Mary Snyder at first. I'm going to call them wardens because the first 20 inmates were also known as, well, inmates. I just like that. <laughs> um, so they were basically wardens. So it opened in October of 1926, and... Boy, was it fun. So, the poor house was renamed as Hillview in 1977. Out of the 20 residents that were there, there was three that stood out the most. Mary Virginia had cerebral palsy, if I pronounce that correctly. Uh, she spent her whole life there, and it's claimed that she had no family. But she liked to play music and dress up. Uh, people claim to faintly hear her music and EVPs all the time in her room. They leave necklaces and dolls as trigger items. Uh, you can see them move every now and again, right along with hearing her favorite music playing. Uh, Eli, I cannot pronounce him, his last name, so I'm so sorry. I think it's like Sari or something like that. Eli, he got drunk, and it wasn't allowed in the facility. Well, he passed out on the front porch, or front steps, more likely. Um, he was taken to the boiler room to warm up and sober up. He never did. He passed out and likely died due to alcohol poisoning, and now he haunts the area. He supposedly likes haunting females more than males. Last but not least, there was a little boy named Jeffrey. Him and his 11-year-old brother lived there, although it's not actually a record of his name being Jeffrey, but his 11-year-old brother got adopted. Um, there's, again, no actual record of his name being Jeffrey or the room he stayed in. So I guess the staff and paranormal investigators have named him Jeffrey because of EVP he got, they got. Um, the legend that follows Jeffrey, pretty creepy. <laughs> it's anybody that sees him is soon to perish soon after. So that's creepy. Although there's no reports saying anybody died after seeing him. Pretty creepy nonetheless. <laughs> but in, let's say, I don't remember the exact date, but the exact year, it's 2004. It closed to, di uh, to financial reasons. Perry and Mary Snyder, after almost two decades of being the wardens, um, they got accused of incompetency. Basically, failure of doing what they were supposed to. Um, there was a lot of overcrowding, and they had to add another wing. It was just insane. And eventually, like I said, 
They closed in 2004 due to financial reasons and opened a few years later for paranormal investigators to well, investigate. That's all I could find on Hillview Manor, but I'm pretty sure there's more out there. Probably not first-hand accounts, but... All right, I got Stetson, Mike here, Beyond the Veil Society, We're here at Hillview Manor, Tyler, and a couple other people. I'm Brent Hurd. This is... I'm Chelsea Ryan. And we're at Appalachia Unknown 2019. She's from uh, the Lexington branch. I'm from the Ashland branch. We're here with uh, boss man Tyler and uh, some other teams here to check out the Hillview Manor, see what's going on. Hi, I'm Chuck with Dark Shadows Paranormal Investigations. This is my brother, Todd. Hi, I'm with him with the Dark Shadows Investigations. All right. That's about all I got. That's all we got right now. <laughs> all right. So, guys, we are heading to room 103. Uh, Mary, what was your last name? Virginia. Virginia. Yep. We are heading there. And I'm pause. 103 was Anna's room. Anna, sorry. Sorry, we're going to Anna's room first. It's right across from <laughs> yeah, Virginia. Right across. Good job, Lily. <laughs> all right. So, this is Anna's room, uh, right across from Mary. We decided to stop here first to give her a visit and see if she would like to communicate with us. So, hello, Anna. Hello, Anna. Hi, Anna. My name is Tyler. I'm Bluey. I'm Jordan. Anna, if you were in here, would you let us know by touching the green light on the bed? All you gotta do is come by that little light and it will start spiking and it lets us know that you're here. Or if you even touch it, don't be afraid, it won't hurt you. We're not here to hurt you, we're just here to communicate with you. And we figured we would drop in and say hi. So if you would, can you say hi back? Maybe too many people for you. Don't be shy. We're not here to hurt you or make you angry or anything like that. We just want to communicate with you. If you can do that, can you please make those green lights light up on the bed, on your bed? Would you like us to go to Mary Virginia's room first? Maybe you're in Mary's room. So we tried the other room. And we were trying to say hi to your neighbor. She wasn't in. She's probably out, maybe in the cafeteria, getting okay. something. 2.5. Nice. So we wanted to come by and say hi to you, Mary. Maybe you're in. We'd like to talk to you if that if you are. So that would be nice. I love your collection you got here. You got all kinds of stuff. I'm just going to put this on your bed. I'll just put on that little bear there with you. Okay. Going to have a seat. So we can kind of talk to you. You have beautiful stuff in here. Really like your necklaces. You got a lot. How you doing today, Mary? If you're in here, can you please come to your bedside where that little green light is? And can you make it go red? Can you touch it to let us know that you're in here? Give us a sign that you're in here. We just want to communicate with you. No more has it. You like dolls. You like dolls, Mary? Or show us one of your favorite necklaces. You make one of them move. Maybe swing back and forth. That way we can know which one's your favorite. Do 
You got so many. So many pretty necklaces. You got tons of bracelets. That's awesome, Mary. Just remember, we're not here to bother you or hurt you or anything like that. We just want to know you're here. This your walker. There's your shoes. If so, can you make that green light light up? Did you used to travel around with all these necklaces on your walker to show them off? Would you like Tyler to leave the room or me? How many people in here? Are you shy? Yep, if we're bugging you, you can make this light light up too and we'll get out of here for you. I heard you were very sweet. Did you share a room? Is this you dressed up on Halloween? You're very pretty. Love your outfit. Do you like red lipstick? It's my favorite. If you can give us a light, make this light up for yes and no, so when we ask, we know what your answer is. Which one's your favorite, though? Is it Cookies Week? Can you make that light up if that's your favorite? Out of these three? The Night Before Christmas? That one your favorite? Then it's got to be if you take a mouse to the movies, right? Or maybe you just like them all. What about a nursery rhyme? Would you like to hear a nursery rhyme, Mary? I have become quite a clean nursery. Well. well, Bluey, why don't you come over here and sit? Okay. And you can do a nursery rhyme for us. Yeah. And if she likes it, make this light light up, Mary, to let us know that you like her nursery rhyme. Now, Mary Virginia, I happen to really like dogs. And one of my favorite nursery rhymes Oh, where, oh, where has my little dog? Oh, where, oh, where can he be with his tail so short and his ears so small? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? Did you like that, Mary? If you liked it, can you make that light change? We're trying to communicate with you. We're trying our best. Hey, Tyler left the room. It's just us ladies if you would like to talk to us. Let's see what they got to say. Let's pop it up. I'm going to gonna stop talking for a second. Oh, there you go. But I'm just going to put that green light there, sweetheart, okay? Now what I want you to do, I want you to touch that green light. Touch it on the sides. And the closer you get to it, it's going to turn red, and it's going to make a really cool beeping noise. So why don't you give that a try, Miss Mary? Can you try that for us, please? You can change those two zeros and make any more number. That would be awesome. Alright, so Mary, if you're not a big fan of the lights, we have a spirit box here, and we would like you to try to speak through it. Speak. No, do you I do? Ask them if they're, ask them if somebody's playing the piano. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to interrupt. It's only, let me do it, let me do it, let me do it. 
Wait a team. Yeah. All right, Mary. So we're gonna to try to give you a voice real quick. Maybe you would like to say hi. Or Anna, if you'd like to come across the hall. Yep. We'd love to talk to you. Huh? Yeah, they're probably just shy. They don't know us. What the hell was that? My nice speaker. I'm gonna turn up the spirit box a little bit. If you're with us, can you say your name so we know who's in here with us? Let's use this device to speak in. You can make your own words and say what you gotta say. your name? Say it nice and clear for us. If anybody's in here, what is your name? So we know you're here. Hey, Bluey. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Hey, Bluey. Hey, Bluey. <laughs> Do you want to talk to Bluey? I'm here. I want to talk. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Who's in here with us? Who wants to talk to Bluey? <clears throat> oh, we got a flash. You're correct. Correct. Frank. Frank. like Frank. I thought I was We definitely got a flash. <clears throat> All right, so someone's in here with us. Now you're coming out. Out, yep. Good job. So who, what's your name? Who's in here with us? Can you say your name for us, nice and clear? Sometimes I apologize. So we kind of need help with the lights to kind of work with us. Is Mary in here? If Mary's in here, can you say yes and light those lights up? Mary, if you're with us, can you make those lights light up and say you're here? Like Beethoven? Yeah, there was so much. 
Yeah, he said he can go get it. You want to go get it? You want, you want me to go with you? Are you You're sure? Okay? You want the light? You want some, her to go with you? Okay. Are you going to be okay here by yourself? Yes. I'll go with her. Okay. Here's this camera. And I don't feel so good now. All right. Go relax. All right. Let's go. I'll take her back. <laughs> All right, so we are in here alone. Do you like the Beethoven music? If you do, can you make those lights light up for me? Or can you say yes, that you like it? It's classical. Do you like classical music? Hopefully you wanted to talk to me. I'm here for you, Mary, and all you spirits. I am here for you. I love to communicate, and I love to meet new spirits, and I love, yeah, I love you guys. I do, I really do. I have much love for all of you. I turned off the spirit box so you guys could enjoy that music because with the racket you can't even hear it. So I apologize. But I'm glad you're enjoying Beethoven. I'm definitely a classical fan. Like I said, classic rock, musicals, you name it. I like classical music. Oh, this is a good number. This is a really good one. If you like that one, can you make it go red? Touch that little black box on the bed. Just grab it one time if you like this one. This is a real pick-me-upper. So I'm going to put this down right here. Right here on the bed. And this is just my phone, and it, it is recording. All right, let's try, since you like this one, let's try Bluey's, the green one in her hand. It's still going. Oh my God, because it's bumping into each other. Yeah, I didn't know what we were all going. <laughs> okay, now there's two. Now there's two of them. Mine's a little bit different, but same concept. Just kind of grab around the sides a bit, turn those numbers a different number, those double zeros. Make those numbers go up. The closer you get to it, it will turn it red, and it'll make a funny beeping noise. Yep. And like I said, guys, uh, please uh, appreciate Bluey for that classical. She put that on for you guys. Oh, yeah. Do me a favor and turn those numbers higher number. The same thing as mine. The green light, you just come by it. <coughs> Give it a big old touch, and you're in there. Can you make those light up? Make them both light up? Wow. Good job. Beautiful. Very good. Very nice. Thank you for working with us. We appreciate it. So we definitely know you're here. You guys walk around the room, it's like... The no? The no. Ooh. And I'm like, are you... You got that on camera? Yeah. Awesome. If it recorded, it was yeah. real. Oh, no. You don't like if you mess with his wheelchair. Oh yeah, don't sit in here. Yep. This is uh, Bill and Sandy. Yes, this is Mr. Sandy. All right. So explorers, we tried Mary and Anne. We tried to communicate with them. We're gonna set up shop here, and maybe try to talk to Bill. Bill should do the video of this. These are the actual document. That they found. This hallway was built in 1977 and the name was changed to Hillview Manor. The activity in this area is famous for its shadow people. 
and you show yourself again, come out of that hallway, maybe give us a nice peek. We'll wait for you. Not a problem. We're going to go again. Right here. Yep. All right. So we're going to see Bill first. Good morning. Hi. Be sure to knock Bill. Hi, Hi Bill. Bill. It's funny. I actually, when I was in a nursing home, I used to take care of a guy named Bill. And he was a really cool guy. I actually liked to build a lot. That's funny, you share the same name. He does not like if you sit on his lap. Well, we won't disrespect him. But how about I place these green, this light, on your rocker? Yeah, hopefully that don't bug you too much, Bill. That's just to let us know you're here. And if you go by that green light, Close as you can to it, it's going to change colors. It's going to turn orange, it's going to turn yellow, it'll turn red. Try to make that black box there turn red. Yeah, closer you get to it. So if you just want to have a seat there. Oh, there you go. Very good. A little more. A little bit more. All you got to do is touch it, Bill. You do that. Talk to the women. <laughs> Here, Bill, I'll go ahead and leave. I'm gonna let you talk to them, okay? I'll go ahead and leave for you. I'll send Bluey in and I'll be in the hallway. That way you can have some private time. Now maybe you'd like to talk to them. You're here. Can you make that green light go from yellow to red? I know. My name is Jordan. Sweet. 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 Is it was it sweet tobacco? 
tobacco that you used to like to smoke? Hey. It lit up. <laughs> so I'm just about to sweep the tobacco. He's right here. He's right here. Wait, you can hear it on the bed. He's right here. He's right here. Alright. Do you want us to leave, Mr. Bill? Just say yes and we'll leave. Just say yes. Tell us yes or no. Very quick. Leave. Alright. Just leave. Okay. All right, Bill. We're gonna leave. We're you not alone, gonna. Okay, we're sir? not gonna bother you anymore. Do you want sweet tobacco? So I know what to bring you back for your pipe. Whenever I come back, I'll bring you some tobacco. What flavor would you like? I don't know if that's a flavor or not, though. Dude, you could hear that bed moving though. Mm -hmm. I felt it. After you got up. I felt it. Did you sit on the bed with Bluey? <clears throat> did you sit on this bed with Bluey? Yeah. You did? You say it clear if you sat on the bed with Bluey? Make that green light go from green to red? Yeah. Is this your bed? Do you not let anybody sit on it? Alright, we said we'd leave you alone after you told us what flavor, so we'll go ahead and head out. Fucking love. That was weird. I could, like, I swear I could almost see it behind you. I was freaking. I don't know how to turn this out. Yeah. <laughs> swapped with the other collabs. This is now our floor. Hopefully we can get some communication up here. We're in the what is it? Caretakers. Caretakers headquarters, sorry. So there's any spirits in here. Would you mind turning that green light to red? Let us know you're in here with us. Any caretakers? Anybody on duty? Tyler used to be a caretaker. He could relate. Yes, I was. I did it for a few months and I actually really enjoyed it. I loved talking to the elderly and helping them. It really made me happy. Did you have a favorite patient? Mrs. Snyder, are you here? You got it? No. On my anchor. Thank you. My last name is Snyder. I'm not related to Perry or Mary, but my last name is Snyder. Would you like to talk to me? I promise I'm a lot better. I would never treat you guys the way they treated you. I just want you to know that. Is there anybody in here with us? Can you make that light change, please? We hear there's a dark shadow called the Creeper. Are you with us? Can you show yourself? I 
I don't mind if you touch me. Remember, she said. Okay. If, she said if we go to you. We believe we heard somebody. You on this floor with us? Can you show yourself? Maybe make another noise. That way we know which way to go. Yep. Tell us which way to go. Make a noise. I don't know. Like I just said, I don't know how much I react to the noise. I did too. So I'm glad I'm not the only one. So, I read a little bit and I heard a patient named Myrtle like to play the piano. Is that true? If you'd like to play the piano, can you please change that green light for me? Maybe you can play it for us. I would love to hear your music. I would play, but I don't know how. I'll be honest with you. I can't play worth crap. But I know you can. Or maybe there's somebody that would like to try to play. I'm sure you're better than me in any way. It wasn't that. It was just that. Yeah. Almost exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Is uh, dinner up? Lunch time? Ooh, I got a spike on that. It just it, it moved. She's in here. What was her name? I cannot remember your name. Is it lunchtime? I'm pretty hungry. If it's lunchtime or something to eat coming up, can you make that green light spike for us? Oh, Hello? Lunch lady, are you here? Do you want me to clean up for you? Oh, we got some spikes. She's here. I'm getting cold. All right, I think it's because you're standing on the... No, I'm, I'm on the right side. Please forgive me. I'm just waiting for my lunch. I'm definitely on the right side. Don't get angry with me. So no cleaning up for you then? Louie did pass, so I'm sorry that she went on your side. I'm not sorry. I'm hungry. I want my lunch right now. Is the lunch lady here with us? Can you please make that light light up? What do you mean we're having meatloaf again? I don't want meatloaf. I want chicken tonight. <clears throat> chicken does sound good. I heard you make a mean chicken noodle soup. Oh yeah, chicken noodle soup sounds real good. Is that what we're having tonight? For dessert, can we have blueberry muffin? All right, I think Bluey should clean up for you. Yep, there's a bit of mess in here. I know this is your kitchen, but we're here to help. We are here to help. Oh, I'm cold now. I don't think she wants you to clean up. Maybe she's not done making food. Lunch lady, are you here with us? Is that the chicken noodle soup? Is it done? Lunch lady, are you here? 
We're waiting for our food. We're in line. You let us know you're here. Lunchtime. In case you don't know how that little light works, all you gotta do is come close to it, touch it, and it will let us know you're here. It will start lighting up. We can use it for yes and no and whatever you would like. That way we know what's for dinner and what time it's coming because we're hungry. Oh, Bluey's over there. She's going to start cleaning up for you. I'm going to move that right there. I oh, think she's this messing with your stuff. Here. I'm going to move this over here. Turn it upside down. If you want her to stop, make that green light go from green so, to red. So then I'm going to move this And I'll make her stop here. touching your kitchen. Back right there. So. You make those lights go off, we'll put everything back. Hmm. What else we won't can touch I your touch? stuff. Hmm. I don't like the spoon in here. I want it over there. Tell me to stop. Light it up if you want her to stop. I guess we'll leave hungry. Your stomachs were growling. Electric stuff's here. Electric, maybe? Electric. Right there? Right here? No. Right here? Yes. Yeah, because this is. Kitchen storage to our no, this was the woman's kitchen. And then if you go to the left, it'll take you out. Here, come in. It'll take you to the um where the uh, rooftop garden was. Which way we going? Uh So it's been in here. Oh, man, different spikes. I'm not too sure that's electrical, guys. Mm -hmm. That's not electrical. Turn it off and turn it back on. That's not electrical. For sure. Is there a spirit following me? I feel like you're following. You here with me? Light that up. Maybe you're not following Tyler. Are you following them? Maybe it's the lunch lady. Are you mad at Bluey for touching your stuff? Point two, point one, point one. Ooh, point one. Lit enough, our turn. Yeah, point that's two, not electrical, guys. One. There's no way. It didn't it didn't move. It would be a current steady stream if it was. Yep. Spirit. Thank you for coming to communicate. Would you like to use the spirit box? Maybe you have a voice? Maybe you have something to say to us? Light it up if you do. Can you light that up? You have something to say? All right, Spirit, keep following us if you're with us. You're making it light up. So I know it's you. We can't go any further. Yeah, we can't go any further. Let's try the hair. Oh, yeah, what I need was it? I didn't go in there. Kind of sounded like slippers getting across. Would you like to see if they'd give me a haircut real quick? Alright, it's time for a haircut. I've been needing one. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely need a haircut. Come get in this chair. Would you mind if I get a haircut? Just right on down. Welcome to Bluey's Hair Salon. <laughs> Here we go.
go. How about some curlers? How about the pick? What do you think? What do you think? You guys like what I'm doing to uh, Tyler's Tyler's new look here? I definitely need a haircut, Spirit. What do you think? What does he need? A little off the top? What do you think? A nice curl? What do you think? Should we... If you think I need a haircut, please spike that light behind me. I think I do. How'd you guys like your hair? You like haircuts? Is there a barber in here? Maybe someone else would like to cut my hair. I'm all ready for you. Would you prefer to cut a girl's hair? Maybe my hair is just too much. I know it is. I need a haircut. I got long hair. Longish. All right, spirits. Well, I figured I would try to get a haircut. I really needed one. Well, I guess I'll just deal with my shaggy hair. <laughs> Since nobody wanted to help me. Why don't you put your hair down? Is anybody here with us? Can you show yourself? Make a noise? Let us know maybe you want us to go a different way. There's a That's creeper stupid. here. They call you the creeper. Are you with us? God, it's so creepy. Ooh, we got a spike on the creeper. My thighs are chafing. Creeper, are you with us? Hold on for a second, Tony Lily. Yeah. Or is it another spirit following? Someone's following me. Who is it? Can you light it up? Angelo, is it you? Mm hmm. Sorry, Someone's lighting it up, guys, and there's no electric. It's yeah, it's weird. Yeah, this has zero electric. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it is lighting up, like randomly, as we hope it lights up. Um, this was the nur uh, nurse. The, yeah, this is the nurse that she was in. Someone. She just said, kiss myself. Right here. Oh, wow. Wow. Hey, guys. So I remember her saying that that box will light up randomly. Can Is you somebody make light in up? need of help? Can you light that box up? Um, someone stay here. Two people or whatever, someone go into one of the rooms, hit the button, hit the first one. Jeez, like on that. Yeah. Sound like a good idea to you. Who do you want? Alright, we're going in, guys. She looks sad. Is there a spirit in here with us? Maybe a nurse is in? One of the nurses in here? Thank you. Mine's so in my right good. leg. Mine's your right leg too. Like I was getting little pins and needles right I feel like, like oh, there. I hit. <laughs> I know my thighs are chasing, so my jeans fucking done ripped on me tonight. Is there a nurse in here? There's a patient that needs help. Can you light those lights up? Can you light a light up on this? We'll come help you. Let us know what room needs help. I used to do this. We used to call it the call light. If you needed help, we'd light it up, and then I would come and help whoever needed help. Because I used to do that. I used to help people. I worked in a nursing home. Like the 
creepiest situation I've ever been in. This is the nursing station. If you need us to help you, maybe you got a lot of patients. I'm here to help you. I do not mind to help you. That's what I'm here for. I used to work in a nursing home. I know all about it. I know call lights when they turn green. Oh, thank you. They do want us to help. Does that mean you want us to help? Because I'm willing to help you, nurse. Or if there's another spirit in here that needs help, let me know. Light it up. I will definitely do my best to help you. Light it up. Like I said, I worked in a nursing home. I helped a lot of elderly people. I treated them very nice. Nope. What? Nope. What? No. Nope. What happened? <laughs> it was big, it was tall, it walked out, it looked, and walked right back in. It oh, was good. right here. It was right here. Don't leave me. I was standing right here, like this, and it was the second floor, it was this one. Put, your, put the lights down so you can see what I was saying. Put all the lights down. But you see how you can see how there's a square? Right here? Yeah. I can only imagine that Very sad. Alright. In this room, I want to put the balloon in the middle and go up be as still and as quiet as possible, at least for a little bit. Okay. Let Jeffrey come in, get comfortable, touch the balloon. The balloon is very, very easy to move. There's no wind in mm -hmm. here. No it's very stagnant in this floor. What is that? What? It's like a white in the middle. I don't know. It's like a little stick. Is it a stick? Yeah. All right. So Jeffrey, we're going to put a balloon down for you. And I got this funny machine right here with the lights on it. If you get close to it or touch it, the lights will change. Shut off these big old lights for you. Yeah, let's go dark and just sit and watch. Get there a little. No good? Jeffrey, are you in here? I understand your brother got taken away. That's really rough. We would like to play with you. Would you like to play with us? Thank you. 
Did you see that? Hi, Jeffrey. You close to me? Hey, buddy. Your hat is a really nice guy. He's a dad himself. <laughs> yeah. I got three boys at home, and they are always asking for toys. They love toys. And Miss Gordon over there, she's a mommy too. She's got a little girl. We all got kids here. You're very safe with me here. You do need to talk. You want to play. You want very much to play with me. Can you blow that balloon if you want to hug? Right, Jeffrey. Can you move that balloon for us? Can you push it to one of us? And we'll push it back. Can you do that for us? I've been looking at this truck over here. And this truck looks like it's a lot of fun. Oh, wow, look at this. It does look like a lot of fun. Can you roll that truck back for me, please? Did you hear your truck, Jeff? I believe we've moved it across. She's wanting you to play with her. If you're out there, come on in. Don't be scared. I promise we are not here to hurt you in any way. Not at all. We are here to play with you. I play with mine all the time. They like the marble figures. Uh, my son Jackson, he really loves them. The Marvel figures and Logan, he likes Hot Wheels. That's his thing. I know, but he's just tired. They're cars, if we're short. Little matchbox cars. Yep, just little cars that roll across. We understand you like baseball. Is that true? You make those lights light up if you like baseball? Yeah. You move to me when you come back. Jeffrey, are you in here with us? Somebody made my little light on my uh, leg there. It lit up. Was that you? The way the lights work, it's a green light. The closer you get, even if you touch it, those lights will light up yellow to red. It can be kind of a game. You like the balloon, Jeffrey? Can you push it? The balloon is yours. I believe we gave that to you. That is definitely yours. Can you 
Can you push that balloon for us? There's someone else in this room. Maybe it's not Jeffrey. If it's not Jeffrey, the little boy, can you make those lights light up? Do you want us to leave this room? Would you like to play with one of us? Maybe you would just like to play with one? Not all of us? Maybe there's too many of us? Would you like two of us to leave and just leave one in the room for you to play with? Maybe it's just too crowded for you? Angela's room, I do believe, all the way down. It was 202. Was it 211? I think past 11. Oh, okay. About, Angela hung himself in the bathroom back in the 1930s in the shower area of her door that is no longer here. People hear sounds coming from the bathroom.